Hey, 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 it's Rosanic, and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Now, this one is of a huge piston door that I invented myself. All I have to do is to access it, just to set up all these pressure plates, and then... It will open up for us. As you see, it is a massive 6x4 door. We can come in here, pick up our diamond blocks, and have a nice time. And then after we're done, we can come out, set the push plates again, and then close the door. Now, keep in mind, these blocks right here on the wall have to be obsidian or some kind of block that slime blocks don't pull, or else this design will not work. Now, this is all the redstone behind it. And if look at it, it is the most compact thing, but there's nothing more I can do because I had to make a triple piston extender, which was a bit of a nightmare. But I managed to make it, and it isn't the most compact thing on its own. So I'll explain to you how this thing works. When you put a power source over here, it's gonna go up here, it's gonna go through this pier, through this block, up here, and then it's gonna activate this triple piston extender. And let me just show you that thing in action on its own. Because it is pretty cool to watch. All the reds don't happen. They all extend, and then they all have to be re-extended. Which was pretty complicated when I was making it, but I managed to do it. And that's the same thing on this side, but it's just mirrored. And these two pistons are optional, but I add them because it makes the door a little bit wider. It doesn't look like a bump your head on the wall, and it also makes the door look bigger and that much better. Now it also goes up this torch tower, activating these pistons, and these pistons after four ticks. And the ticks, and the redstone torch ticks, and these ticks all happen at the, around the same amount of time. Now that's enough talking, let's show the tutorial. Now these are the items you're going to need. You're going to need about over a stack of solid blocks, some redstone dust, 6 torches, 22 repeaters, 20 sticky pistons, 8 slime blocks, and 4 pieces of obsidian. So this has to work on 1.8 because it has the new slime blocks. And you want to start off with a 6 by 22 area, and then you want to go out here and count about 3 blocks, place a piece of redstone dust there with a salt block, then repeater, and then just redstone dust all the way around here and end that line at about right here, 3 blocks at the end. And then we're going to go right here and place 2 repeaters, set them all to 4 ticks, same over here, 4 ticks, and 4 ticks. And then you just want to place some redstone dust right here with sticky pistons and going into all the repeaters, then with the blocks on top of the sticky pistons. Now these are blocks that are going to be pulled. Now you're going to go to the end of here, place a solid block, redstone torch, another block, another torch, and then another block, then another torch, and then another block, and then another torch, creating a torch tower. And then when you place a block here, block another block there, with another block on top of there, and then just make a line of blocks over here. And then you just want to place sticky pistons there and there with the blocks on top of those. And those are the blocks that are going to be pulled as well. And then you just want to place more blocks over here with more sticky pistons. And then the blocks on top of sticky pistons. And then redstone dust going into the pistons. Now you want to go right here. Place a block there, and redstone dust, another block there, another block there, and another block back off of that, with redstone dust all on those. You want to place another block, and then you want to place another one there, with another one there, and another one here, creating a little E shape. And then you want to place redstone dust all around here, and three repeaters right here. One at two ticks, one at four ticks, and this one at one ticks. Now, it has to be in this order, this one two, this one at four, and this one at 1. And then you want to place sticky pistons right here, there, there. With slime blocks right here, and then the more of the blocks that are going to be pulled. And then you want to take out this block, this obsidian, or some kind of block that doesn't get pulled by pistons, and put the repeater back to where it was. Now I'm going to go back here, place a block there, with a redstone dust, then another block there, torch, block, Redstone dust, and then a sticky piston right here, 
with a block, and then three blocks over here with one repeater, another repeater, redstone dust, and then this one set at two ticks. Then you want to place a block here, another block there, piece of sitting on some kind of block that doesn't get pulled by the pistons, with another block there next to it, repeater set at four ticks, and then another block right here. And then you place a block, two blocks there, with two more blocks there, like that. Now this is the last step for this side, you just place redstone dust all the way on here, and then repeater set at three ticks. And now what you want to do is you want to get a power source, like a torch or something, and then just activate it, test it out. And that's how it seems to be working. Done! Now all you do is just do the other side. Then you're going to come over here, place a block there, with another block there, redstone dust, and then a repeater at zero ticks, otherwise don't click on it at all. Then a block there, another block there, another block over here, and another block over there, with redstone dust on all those blocks except for that one. Then go up here, place a block there, another block here, and basically make the E shape again on this side. I made a mistake. And right there. There's the E shape. And then place redstone dust over here, and then the repeaters. This one at one tick, this one at four ticks, and this one at three ticks. And then you're going to come over here, place your three sticky pistons with the slime blocks. And I messed it up again, just want to fix that. And then place the blocks over here, which is the ones that are going to be carried. Then just place a block right there, torch, block, dust, piston, block, three blocks, repeater, repeater, and dust right there. Then we go home here, set this to three ticks, and place a block right there, the piece of obsidian, redstone dust, right on that, and then we're gonna place a block there, a block right there, and then repeater, set all the way to four ticks. And then when you come down here, place blocks there, and blocks there, with redstone dust, all on there, and then a repeater. Now the last thing you have to do is just set this repeater to three ticks, and then you want to try out the machine and see if it is working. You see the track, the tracking is great, and the tracking is great. So there. So that's going to be it for this reaction tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.